You are listening to SDO Isabella Radio Based Instruction. Learning never stops in Math Escuela, your school on air. Your partner in achieving fun learning experiences. Let's listen, enjoy, and have fun in learning mathematics. Stay tuned. Great day, Grade 6 learners! This is DepEd Radio Escuela, your school on air in mathematics. We are again up to new and exciting lessons in mathematics. Surely, this will give you a wonderful experience in learning for today's lesson. I am Teacher Elisa Muyalde of Mambabanga Elementary School, your mathematics buddy. Do you already have your learning kit with you? That's good! Before we start, please find a seat where you are comfortable and safe. Are you now ready? If you are ready, kindly nod and give me a thumbs up. Before we proceed to our new lesson, let us have a short review in our previous lesson. What was our topic again? That's right! Last episode, we discussed about finding the value of numbers expressed in exponential notation. How to find the value of a number expressed in exponential notation? Very good! To find the value of a number expressed in exponential notation, write the number as repeated multiplication. Then multiply to find the product. Example, 5 to the 4th power. The expanded form for this is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. The product is 625. I hope that you're able to recall our previous lesson. I believe that you are now ready for our new lesson. Am I right? Hmm, that sounds good! Today, you are expected to recognize order of operations on whole numbers, interpret and explain the grouping, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction or Janda's rule and perform two or more operations on whole numbers with or without exponents and grouping symbols. Have you been prompted to a problem with series of operations? What did you do then? Many of us have been challenged by our friends, especially in social media, to give the correct answer of a certain problem with series of operations. Most of the given answers are wrong, and we wonder why. One of the most viral math problems on Facebook is this. Six divided by 2, open parenthesis, 1 plus 2, close parenthesis. Will you try to solve this problem? What is your answer? 
is your answer 9, 5, 1, or do you have other answer? At first glance, it seems so easy to answer. But why is it that we have different answers? In order to come up with the correct answer, we need to follow a rule. We call it Jemdas Rule. Jemdas Rule is used when we perform two or more operations on whole numbers with or without exponents and grouping symbols. Jemdas is a mnemonic or a pattern of letters that assist us in remembering order of operations. G for grouping, E for exponents, M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Let us use Jemdas to find the correct answer in the previously mentioned viral math problem, which is 6 divided by 2, open parenthesis, 1 plus 2, close parenthesis. Did you get 9 as your answer? Wow, that's incredible! Will you clap for yourselves for that incredible job? To further learn about solving problems with series of operations, let us help Agnes in her task. Agnes got sick and was absent from school for a week. When she returned, she tried working on a task posed by her teacher. The task and her solution are shown below. 8 minus 5 plus 4 times 7 divided by 2 equals 3 plus 4 times 7 divided by 2 equals 7 times 7 divided by 2 equals 49 divided by 2 equals 24.5 Is Agnes answer correct? Why or why not? Do you still remember M -Dash? Let us use this rule to check Agnes solution. First, multiply or divide from left to right multiplication appears first before division so let's multiply first 4 times 7 is equal to 48 and then divide 28 divided by 2 is 14 we have now 8 minus 5 plus 14. Next, add or subtract. From left to right, subtraction appears first before addition. So, let's subtract first. 8 minus 5 is 3. And then add. 3 plus 14 is 17. 17 is the answer. Is Agnes' answer correct? Her answer was 24.5. Therefore, her answer is incorrect because the right answer is 17. 
What do you think Agnes did in answering the problem? Yes, Agnes performed the operations from left to right, but started with subtraction instead of multiplication. Can you follow grade 6 learners? Here is another example. 3 plus open bracket, open parenthesis, 7 times 4, close parenthesis, minus 6, close bracket. For this example, let us use Jemdas. First, perform operations within its grouping symbols. So, multiply then subtract the expression within the brackets. 7 times 4 is 28. 28 minus 6 is 22. Then, perform addition or subtraction from left to right or whichever operation comes first. 3 plus 22 is equal to 25. 25 is the correct answer. I hope that these two examples made you understand the use of Chemdas in solving problems with series of operations. Oh, I love that noise! That signifies your understanding towards our lesson. Will you try to evaluate this expression? 20 minus 4 plus 6 times 3. I'll give you one minute to solve this. Mari, narinig mo na ba ang tungkol sa online distance learning ng DepEd? Ano ba ito? Ay oo, Mari! Ang online distance learning ay isang pamamaraan kung saan maihahatid ng mga guro ang kaalaman para sa mga anak natin sa tulong ng teknolohiya. Gaya ng internet, laptop, computer, at cellphone. Ganun ba, Mari? Oo, Mari. Hindi magkakasama at magkakaharap ang mga estudyante at mga guro. Maaring matuto ang mga bata sa pamamagitan ng online na pagkatuto. Isang mensahe mula sa kagawaran ng edukasyon at nang himpilang ito. Okay, let's see if you get the correct answer. Let's evaluate the given expression 20 minus 4 plus 6 times 3. First is multiply. 6 times 3 is 18. Take note that subtraction comes first, then addition. That is why we will subtract. 20 minus 4 is 16. Then, perform the remaining operation, which is addition. 16 plus 18 is 34. The correct answer is 34. Yes, that's the positive noise again. With that reaction, I believe you got the correct answer. Always remember that in performing two or more operations, we follow the MDAS rule. MDAS stands for multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. To use this rule, multiply 
or divide as you go from left to right. Add or subtract as you go from left to right. And in performing two or more operations with exponents and grouping symbols, we follow the GEMDAS rule. GEMDAS stands for grouping symbols, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. To use this rule, just remember, perform the operations inside the grouping symbols first. Find the value of the number in exponential notation. Multiply or divide as you go from left to right. Add or subtract as you go from left to right. Now, it's time for you to turn your module on page 8 and page 17 under Assessment Letter A. Read each item carefully. Write the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. Time is up! Let's now check your answers. 
On page 8, the answers are Number 1, letter A Number 2, letter B Number 3, letter D Number 4, letter A and number 5, letter B. On page 17, the answers are Number 1, letter D Number 2, letter A Number 3, letter C Number 4, letter A And number 5, letter C That sounds good! I believe every one of you deserves an excellent clap because of your good scores. For more exercises, you can do additional activities on page 18 on your module. Write your answers in a separate sheet of paper and send or submit it to your teacher. If you want to clarify something about the lesson, you can ask your teachers. You can reach them through mobile phone or any social media platform. It is indeed a wonderful discussion, my dear grade 6 learners. I hope that the lessons you've learned today make you more confident in solving math problems. So, let's call it a day, grade 6 learners! Stay safe! Patuloy! Patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating generasyon! Sa gaan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan. Kaya halina sa Radyo! Radyo! Radyo Eskwela!